Hey Bears! I am the Gaming Grizzly and welcome to my top 10 tips and tricks video for Sand Castle. I hope this video helps you out and if so I would really appreciate a fat like. Also feel free to share your tips in the comment section and share this video with all of your friends. And if you are new on this channel and you want to get more tips and tricks all around life after, make sure to subscribe to The Gaming Grizzly. Alright, 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 let's jump right into the video. The severely infected area chests. When you open your map, you will see that there is a severely infected area on the very left at the little pond. Right here, you will find 4 groups of zombies all around the place. Those zombies actually protect the best chests on this map. Because in those chests you might find polymer coating and film fabrics. You can either kill the zombies to get to the chests or bring a friend that distracts the zombies while you are looting those chests. Right here you can see my friend distracting the zombies so I could open up the chests easily. And as you can see, sometimes you will get the polymer coating. And sometimes you will get the film fabrics. But you have to be patient because oftentimes you will get nothing too special. The castle chests. In the middle of the map you will find the castle ruins. They are protected by a lot of soldiers. But if you are able to bring them down, you can find a lot of mercenary chests inside of the castle. Usually there are way more than 10 chests all around the castle. You can also collect the soldiers loot because most of the time they also drop 50 new dollar and a claw. The exploration chests. There are 6 exploration chests located in Sand Castle. Each of them will reward you with 1000 new dollar and as soon as you collected all of them you can claim a reward of 1000 gold bars. If you want to see a detailed explanation of all the chests in Sand Castle, check out the video that I made about all the exploration chests. I will leave a link in the description below or you can just click on the info box to get there. The Mystic Creature As soon as you get a notification that there is a mystic creature in Sand Castle, make sure to go there and bring down this special mutant. Most of the time there are a lot of other players fighting together to bring down this huge zombie. As you can see in this clip I couldn't even use my weapon because I broke it a few minutes before the mystic creature appeared. But as long as you help bringing down the zombie you will be rewarded with some gold bars, skill points, new dollars, combat mastery points and resources. But keep in mind that you will get the gold, the skill points, the new dollars and the combat points only once per day for killing this monster. The Stronghold If you complete the Stronghold on its easiest difficulty, you will be rewarded with 1400 skill points, some combat mastery points and a bunch of sand castle points that you need at the NPC to buy different items. To complete the Stronghold, you have to go through 3 steps. The first one is to kill 4 snipers at the roof of the castle. The second one is to disassemble 4 comms. And the last one is to get back to the helicopter. To finish the first task all you have to do is you have to run past all the soldiers straight to the top of the castle. From here you can easily shoot all the snipers. But I recommend you to only do that if you already have a good armor. The second step, the disassembling of the comms needs some teamwork. One of the players has to distract the mercenaries that are all around the comms while the other player disassembles them. This might be a little bit more difficult but once you know how to distract them it's quite easy. And then all you have to do is you have to get to the evacuation helicopter safe and sound. You can now use the points that you have just earned at the NPC that is standing right next to the stronghold mission to get various items and even treasure maps. The Sandstorm As you know, every now and then there is a sandstorm coming up on this map. The sandstorm will damage you over time and has a duration of either 2 minutes, 2 minutes and 30 seconds or 3 minutes. Most of the time you will get damaged because of breathing problems. 
Sometimes you will even lose additional health because it is night time and you are freezing. If you have the right clothing and maybe even some bandages, you can easily survive the sandstorm without searching shelter. Card elimination But of course the easiest way to survive a sandstorm is by searching up a cave. As you can see, as soon as the storm starts, a lot of people will seek shelter in here. While you are waiting for the storm to pass, you can invite other players to a match of card elimination. This way you will earn some resources as well as some new dollar while being safe. Auto completion of missions. This one is quite obvious. You want to complete your daily missions every day to get a good amount of skill points, mastery points, gold bars and new dollar. All you have to do is, you have to complete missions like opening up chests, killing zombies or wild animals and that's it. But really interesting does it get when you reach gathering level 30. After your gathering level reaches level 30, automatic completion of reward quests will become available. Automatic completion requires 15 minutes. After a quest is completed, the reward will be sent to your mailbox. This means that you don't even have to play the daily missions yourself, as soon as you have reached level 30 of gathering, which is pretty amazing. NPC quests If you find a blue dot on the map, make sure to always approach it. If you find an NPC that will give you a quest, you want to complete this side quest, because they are fairly easy and they reward you with a huge amount of mastery points. As you can see in this clip, I had to escort a robot and protect him from mercenaries. It wasn't really that difficult and as soon as I completed my mission, I received 21,000 combat mastery points. Free ammunition. Sometimes you will find Ricky, an NPC inside of the caves. Right next to him, he has an ammunition box that you can use to replenish your weapon's ammunition. The first time every day is even for free. Ballooned crates. Alright, I also have two bonus tips for you. The first one is to keep an eye open for the sky. Because sometimes you might find ballooned up crates that you can just shoot down for different resources like claws and wood cores. And special events. Also keep an eye open for events. They appear every now and then on this map. There are different events in which you have to gather for example wood, stone or hemp. And if you make it to the leaderboard, you will be rewarded with some gold bars. Alright, alright, alright. That's it. Those were my top 10 tips and tricks and two bonus tips for the sand castle map in life after. I really hope this video helped you out. And if so, make sure to leave me a fat like. Share this video with all of your friends. And if you are new on my channel and you want to get more tips and tricks all around life after, make sure to subscribe to the gaming Christie. And if you have some tips that you want to share with us, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I hope you all have a great day and see you all in the next video. Bye bye!